How you going guys, it's Luca here from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. We've got a special uh, occasion for you today. Uh, we've, got a, we've invited a few uh, of my racing mates. Invited me, <laughs> 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 we uh, yeah, invited them to come over and uh, show off uh, what I think is probably one of the probably the most best one fifth scale cars in the world. It looks sick. Definitely. And they look sick. I mean, as soon as I seen these things, we needed to get them on the channel. The title is not a clickbait. Yes. Alright, so we'll swing you around, we'll do your introductions, and we'll have a look at these beauties. Cheers. Right, who are these fine gentlemen, Luke Ray? <laughs> okay, over here we've got Dean, Dean Roworth. He's actually our section leader. He likes long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> He, ag he agreed well, actually well, to come. The park a little he bit agreed. Of horse yeah, yeah. He agreed to horse come to the channel. I did. I did. Um, he's the owner of the uh, the Alcon tracks and the Vortex. That's these two. And then we got Gavin here, who I raced with short course. Hey, Gavin. Another Hello. member of uh, Large Scale Off Road. He's actually bought out his brand spanking new. And I'm I was pitching a tent, and I still am. <laughs> yeah. This of thing the, is uh, amazing. Hasn't turned the key. It's a virgin. It hasn't no. even been started. So what we want, we're going to go through the bottles, we're actually going to start them. We're going to show you the unique features of the Vortex. So the main features today, we want to, we want to display the Vortex and, and the then tracks. also the tracks as well. And you got these two shirts hanging up here, who are these guys? So King RC is the Australian distributor of Elcon. Yep. So these cars are made by Elcon models. So originally a European company, now they're based in the UK. So. Uh, King RC based in Queensland, kingrc.com.au are the exclusive Australian distributor right. for Elcon models. And we'll leave that link down below, they can go check them out. That's yes. it. Definitely. Too easy. Alright, gentlemen, where do you want to start? Which ones? Alright, let's start with the two-wheel drive. We'll start with the two-wheel drive, we'll yep. two drive tracks. Alright, so two-wheel drive, so fifth scale two-wheel drive EFRA buggy. What does EFRA mean? People that don't Europe, know. European Federation of Racing Association. Okay, yeah. so nothing to do with the car, it's just a, it's Yeah, just basically, a, it's, uh, the car's built to a specific category. Yep. Okay, so European off road racer. Okay. Check so, out this. So, this is your. This is you, my. This is a Trax. So, two wheel drive car, rear, rear mount engine is stood up vertically. The, this car comes with the op oh, yeah. option of standing the engine up like, vertically. Yeah, right. Or okay. you can roll, yeah. rotate it, and lay it forward, So which is bit lower, lower center of gravity. Um, but for, for our tracks, as in, not tracks the name, but our tracks that we race, on, race. It, it suits us better to have the vehicle in the upright position. You get more drive, uh, okay. uh, the weight over the rear end. So this this is uh, the version 2. So the version 1 was an alloy deck. It's a carbon fibre upper deck. Yep. I've changed it. <coughs> I've taken the front brakes off. So you've got a rear lay Just shaft rear brake, brake here. Oh, wow. Right? So normally there's another servo there with the diaphragm, which you'll see on the four-wheel drive car when yep. we show you that because they run uh, an air operated disc brake, so, oh, which oh, is wow. normally mounted in here. I've taken them off, so it's just my driving yep, style. Fair enough. So that's no drama. Sway Maybe just don't go fast me. enough. They, they fly, these <laughs> things fly. We so. actually got some footage of us yeah, we do, uh, yeah. the battle. We've, yeah, yeah, that's right. That was yeah. fun. So I basically had to just go three quarter throttle <laughs> so that these blokes could yeah, keep make, up. Make, make, make them feel yeah. good. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I know. So I turned around backwards. I've got a um, twin steering servo setup, which is a factory bracket. So yep. this is exclusive. This is from, supplied by Elcon. Yep. So I've got the twin steering servo set up in this. Yep. I've just noticed I've got a slightly everything just looks, this, this everything just looks beefy. Well, it's it's seven oh seven grade. I think it's, it's huge. Seven oh seven five. Seven oh seven five. Aluminium, all CNC cut. So this car literally comes straight from the Australian national titles. How'd you go? So, uh, coming off the back of COVID, Phil and Audrey in April the 5th. Okay. I was second last year, but fifth this year. That's so fine. Still happy enough with that. You had fun. That's the main had thing. A ball. Put a smile on your face. Yeah, uh, had a ball. And a dent in your wallet? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. the fun of it. That's part of it. The so. wife might be watching, so we won't say anything oh, no, about the it. The financial controllers are there, mate. They, <laughs> they're <laughs> they watching. They do. So I've got a... Pull start set up, but I've got an electric start on this as well. Oh, okay. So it's um, just for the ease of it. Yep. So I can fire it up for you. Absolutely. Hey, we're all about the brap here. This channel's all about electric, petrol, whatever it is. Steam. I don't care. All right. Nice, G4Z as well. Oh, I can talk about them all day. Chris Lucasen in the Netherlands, G-Force. He's brilliant. Wow, 
That's not that loud as I thought it would be. You should have choked it. Before. Love that smell. Yep. That's man perfume right there. It is. Totally. So, it's an absolute weapon of a thing to drive. It is. It is. Uh, most of the time it's on three wheels because one of the front wheels is in the air. Yep. And um, very successful car in Europe, very successful car here in Australia with the national events. So, is this like their entry level type of thing, could you say? Like the chassis itself, like being two wheel drive, or is it, is it cheaper to get into two wheel drive than four wheel drive? Two, two wheel drive is a cheaper starting point. The four-wheel drive, when you see that, it's a lot more involved. Much, yeah. Um, but basically, Elcon, it's like a Ferrari. Yep. You want a sports car, you go buy the best. You go buy a Porsche, you're not going to go down and go to the local auto yeah, and change the seat covers and put different hubcaps yeah. on it. This thing is a race car straight out of the box. There are no aftermarket upgrades. Look, there are no hop-ups. Like what, a turnkey ready to rock and roll. Exactly. So, purebred race car. Well, I like that. That's like a spiral. Is that a spiral cut? Yeah, helical. Helical, that's helical. it. Helical. Yeah, helical yeah. cut. So nice smooth engagement. Um, there's a spline drive on the rear. It's a bit harder to see. So you've got a CV joint off the diff. You've got a CV joint at the hub, yep. and you've got a spline. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The I spline know there. So a telescopic drive shaft. <clears> exactly. Yeah. So not you know typically you've got the three balls in the cup, and you might shatter a cup. These have got a spline drive. There's no loss of power. There's very little wear. This car's a year and a half old. Yeah. I had the previous version. The, the, the version one, um, had that for three years, had two of those, raced them Australian titles, very hey. successful car, sold them on to other members of our club. So Beautiful. Thank that's you the two-wheel drive version. <coughs> Amazing. And it is running, just a little shout out to Chris from GeForce. Chris is in Holland and builds an amazing engine. Absolute amazing. It's the only engine I've run Good in, in Zanoa, 15 eh? years. It's, an, it's a Zanoa, it's only a 26. Yep. So 15 years of me being involved in the sport, I've only run Chris's motors. And not a bad thing to say about Shout it. out to Chris. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, Chris is excellent. So that's the two-wheel drive. That's two-wheel drive, okay. So the four-wheel drive. Is this puppy ever eat? There's a whole different kettle of fish. That's right, baby, model. Yeah, yeah. Bang, model memory. Model select. Look at that bad boy. Easy as. Nice to have it on this. Uh, so, who, hey, sorry, Luke Ray. This uh, stand, who was that again? Do you remember? It's uh, one of the Crazy Hobbies uh, supporters. I think his name was Steve. He's Steve. one of your countrymen. Countrymen. Croat, eh? Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Apologies to those watching. Hey, come on. <laughs> so this is the uh, four-wheel drive version. Elcon don't make... Well, they've right, been around, get, they've been around for a while. Get tissues ready for this one. This oh! One, this one is... Wow. Still full of fuel. So straight from Queensland. Explain this again. I know you quickly okay. did when I was off camera, but this I've right. never seen this uh, sorcery right okay, here. Okay, so <clears throat> this is a 29cc Zanoa yep. four bolt. Okay, it is it's a unique four bolt. Sorry, when you mean is that four, four bolt head? head. Yeah, four bolt right. head. Yep, yep. So it's a unique design. I'm I believe it's designed by Jan and Ono, who were the original owners and founders of Elcon. Yep. Okay, the business has since changed hands. It's owned by a fella in the UK, Phil, okay. in the UK. But Jan and Ono are still very much involved from the design aspect. So they've designed it. It takes drive off both sides of the crank. Okay. So you've got your, your typical out drive where your clutch goes on. So yep. here you've got a six shoe clutch. You've got the clutch carrier. There's a sun gear in here. Now it's it's probably a little bit difficult to explain without being able to open it up. But you've got a gear on yeah. the on the outside, you've got four reducing gears, and then you've got like your outdrive. Like a diff. Yep. Sort of like a diff. Okay, so six shoe adjustable clutch here. Yep. Come off the front. It's now, that gear there, you were saying that's for your electric start. That's for your electric start. So, the, the, the standard Zanoa flywheel is machined yep. to suit 
the fitting supplied by Elcon so that it takes the drive. So that's where your drive, your start goes in. Then you've got your clutch here. Oh, there's another one there. Six there's shoe as well. Six shoe there, fully adjustable. Then you've got your sun gear and your, gear, your step down, your reduction. Here we have an air brake. So full disc brake. So air brake, air cord as well and all that kind so of stuff. Oh, yeah. No, literally air off a diaphragm. So Ah, like a pump. Okay, so you've got a servo here with an air pump. Ah, right, right. okay, I've never seen that. So it's normally it's hydraulic, right? Exactly. And cable. So you've got, an air, you've got a donut yeah. pressure yeah, bag. Yeah, I know right? what you mean. And then you've got your, your, your pressure plate, your disc, and your front brake. It's like an old school style, oh, cheap uh, fuel pump, you know, just because of the little membrane. Yeah. yeah, so it acts as a slave off your throttle brake here. Yep. The rear brake is your standard, um, well, metal disc. Yep. With your three brake like shoes, plate that pushes yep. the yep. leverage. So that works on the rear, off the rear drive. Mm. So you got a short drive here into yeah, that. that. Stubby, isn't it? Wow. It works perfectly yeah. though. And then the, is that dog bone or uh, like a, a ball, three ball, ball, three ball. Yeah, that's not a CV, yep. but they're very short. Literally, I can take the air cleaner off, pop the throttle linkage off, four bolts. The entire drivetrain comes straight out. Yeah, well that's so what you want when you're racing. Cut, cut the, the the tire, leave it off, yep. leave it on. It comes out pipe mounted, carby the whole lot. And then you can do whatever you do. clean the car, maintain it, the whole deal. So that's that's the drive aspect of it. You've got twin steering servos at the front. Yeah. Okay, well, so that. nice and solid. Servo savers. Um, servo, yep. adjustable servo savers. Your Delron blocks. Okay, so you can adjust them to suit. So this is a purely purely the front brake servo. Yeah, I noticed off that. Off here, steering here, and then so you got your standard one, two, brake. three, four servos. Four. They're all small. <laughs> The servos in the two-wheel drive are all small scale, so there's no need for the large, the big chunky Yeah, ones. but you're talking about top quality here. Oh, they're high, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. But at least everything's the same. Yeah, that's you right. Know? We all carry a, we all carry a spare servo in our box and we're good to go. It's so, the quality though. It's just amazing. Radio box, you've got your kill switch, direct direct uh, power wiring harness. And what do you run, Futaba, 7PX? So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a 4PX. 4PX, 4PX sorry. 4PX, 4PX. Futaba gear, quality. Futaba gear, so we've done a bit of an upgrade here. We've got a, a custom... Um, carbon fiber battery tray which is produced by King RC and I run a 44 milliamp um, hard case yep. just for a 30 minute final got to make sure you've got enough power that enough. powers all the, uh, the powers all the server, everything and we're good to go uh, another little another little uh, getting the hot air out of the car I won't pull it all the way out but basically yeah, I, I noticed on the two-wheel drive how it's coming out of that little... Uh, that's that's homemade by me. Yeah, that's a good idea. I felt but, that coming out. Yeah, it's it, on, a, on a race day, that's like sitting in front of a hairdryer. Yeah, definitely. So it's better to get the, the hot air out of the shell. You're not cooking the clutch, yeah, of course. etc. So I can fire this baby up of for course. you as well. So we got the uh, proprietary starter, is it? That's that's the that's supplied with the car. Yeah. The Milwaukee drill <laughs> is, is that, supplied by me. Is that from your bedroom, Luke Ray? <laughs> <laughs> Some no, weird. Uh... No, that'd be the two stroke. One. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Okay. Well, yeah. Brake brake cleaner's great, mate, for that. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Motor. Okay. So straight in. Got no smell of vision, but that smells awesome. I know. <laughs> Bloody hell! So the, the well, clearly you can see the quality of it. Yeah. This is this is this is dirty. This is it's come straight, straight from a race straight event. Straight NASA shit. This is like this check is, out. They're not is. shelf queens, are they? No. Oh, oh, shit, no. No. You have to use them. You don't spend this much money <laughs> have it sitting on the shelf. Yeah. And on that. Right. On that, how much are these? As as it is. As it as it is, ready to run. What'd you say? Eight grand. Eight two. 8.2 eight eight for this two, one. 8.2, that's complete. There's a thousand dollar motor in here. Yeah, so 8.2, so, don't forget guys, that's you. Um, that's Australian, so that'll be around about 12 grand US. So basically 6.2 as a roller, right? Even more. 8.2. 8.2 so all that's up. that's about 6.5 six, six US. 6.5 US, you're going wow. the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way, so 8.2, yeah. wow. Yeah, so, we wish. So we as, wish. As, a roll, <laughs> as a roller, basically comes everything, pipe, wheels, body, the whole lot. The only thing you don't get is your four servos and your engine. Yep. Comes with the clutches. And that alone could be a thousand bucks for servos. 
was a thousand bucks worth of servos in there this, and there's a thousand dollar engine, yeah. and then your radio gear. Yep. Right. There's a there's a kill switch in here, so electronic kill switch, so we lost the signal. Yep. So, Which is right, what? Oh, I've just unplugged yeah, it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yep. Yeah. No light, no power. So that's a safety factor that we we run in Australia. So um, basically, that's it. It's just an unbelievable thing to drive. It would be, um, yeah. Having raced that for 15 years, or, well, not fi that particular car for 15 years, having raced two-wheel drive right up now from my time in the sport, learning to adapt to four-wheel drive is a little different, but the idea is you can adjust your clutches, you can set it up with the yeah, front absolutely. end spooling up and pulling you through the corners and the back end's chasing it. So it's a, a wicked... I've wicked never I've never seen this uh, design. It's that's what's awesome. on the channel, Steve. Mate, this, this that's car, why. This car, the Alcon Vortex, just came first, first place in the Australian national title. Oh, well, there you go. So uh, I didn't quite get to first place, but that's all right. Human error on my part. But there was... Uh, there was oh, you had fun, though. That's amazing. I had an absolute blast. There was five of them in the finals, five or six of them in the finals. And uh, they, they all finished except me, but that was my fault. So mm. it wasn't the car's fault. Uh, and took our first place. Perfect. Uh, lap record, the whole lot. So what do you what do you what run is it 98 you're running these or 95 yeah, 98. and what what oil do you I run like Car, oh. KR1, I think it is, KR1. okay so but there's there's a, a couple of cool features I've, I've made a little mod here like I can pop that fuel tank out in two seconds oh, I've, I I've used a that, couple yeah. of pull that out take the fuel line off I can lift the tank out four bolts you can take that out the ease of pulling the car down to clean it for a bit of maintenance and on a race day because you want time's precious on race days you want exactly. everything easy you know, like modular type of thing. It, it is yeah. exactly. So, and you know, as we all know, not everything goes according to plan. So nah, you never know, does. Might have a hiccup here and there. But Luke Cray knows about weapon. that. So it's an absolute weapon. This is beautiful. You can just tell, like you know, guys, you can see it through the camera. Just the quality. Oh, like even just a fit and finish. Yeah. Oh. Like the machining is amazing. Well, where do you see? Like look at this. The like, virgin one sitting behind us. Yeah, it's honestly it's. Yeah, amazing. but never, never get issues. I know you've got the look, people going to ask about open geared. And shit getting in it? Never had a problem. Never had go. a problem. <coughs> it's probably hard to pick up on the camera. I'll show you on Gavin's. But the way the front bulkhead's set up, I take the bumper off, this 3D printed cover, a couple of bolts, and then you can pop the diff out. Oh, yeah. But that's, that's only on the gun edition. Only on the gun edition. Yeah. You know, I've seen that. The uh, X Max has that. Was uh, it? Funny enough, it there has the. I oh, know, it's a completely yeah. different kettle yeah. fish, but you just pull it out and it makes it so much easier, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cap. Yeah, it yeah. 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 pops out. It pops it out. And, and you really need fast access to those thefts all the yeah. time. Well, in, I, I have to go on, on record saying now, I've owned one, two, I've owned nine Elcons, and I've never had an issue with a diff. I've never pulled a diff apart. Well, there you go. So you oil it, check that the fluid level's are right, keep it clean. You know, once a year I might flush it out, change the oil, make sure the oil's right. I've never pulled a diff down. On an you pay for what you get. 100%. Alright, now what we have here, mate, this is the... Uh, this is the one we're going to raffle off. Cat's pajamas, yeah. Yeah, on. we'll raffle it off. <laughs> this, this is the clean version of the one that you saw start a couple of minutes ago. So, and this has not been started, this not turned not a key started. per se. This is, this is <coughs> built, built and completed. Brand new shell. Um, and you're saying, who, who painted this? Let's give him some uh, shout out to that. Because so this, this is, check out this. This How's is painted invented? by Race Paint Design. Race Paint Design. He's on Facebook, if you look him up. He is unreal. Three words, race paint design, is it? Race paint design. Right. And he's a local. He's yeah, a local. local to us here in uh, well, Sydney, South Australia. Wales. And yeah, New South Wales. Down the road. But just mm -hmm. check out that quality. So that's like a, it's like faded in that's and it must brush. be so many layers all on this. details. Yeah. So all that. He's even, he's yeah. even taken the, the stock factory sticker and replicated it, painted it. And the, this is the gun edition. Yeah, because there's two versions to this, you were saying. And this Correct. is yeah. the, the top. Top tier gun edition. Gun, G U W N, after Cowan Gun, who yep. is the Australian distributor, but also heavily involved with Elcon, with the, the design, the development, the R&D, does a lot of testing, and uh, absolutely well, all right. brilliant. Check out them. I'll, I'll leave a link for all these uh, down in the description if you want. You can go check it out in your own leisure. Ooh. Ooh. There we go, shiny. But like I said, same as the one you just saw, just just, just the virgin. Not raced. Hasn't been <laughs> not used. raced yet. Now I understand there's also a trucks or a short course version there is so it's exactly the same chassis okay and it's compliant in every aspect for okay. for specifications so rcra so with approved. rcra approved, so you know which of course you're the president aren't you? so i'm the national delegate national delegate fair enough uh, remote control racing australia okay so 
basically it complies with all the rules, our yep. rule document, which is on our website, that right. complies with all the European rules. So it complies as a buggy, and you can stop? get a stop body mount off the front, the body mount off the rear, and you can uh, run okay. a truck body on it. Ah, so okay, that's cool. To the short Callum, course, that's a so it can race so that's, yeah, that's that's good. with yeah. the lossies. Um, you know, lossies fit the short course category. Yeah. Lossies are very but popular. But is. But I think you, you play there for this is hours awesome. and take it out of position. So this is just clean, very clean. So yep. the gun addition runs slightly different front arms. There's an extra hoop around the front. They're a little bit fatter. The front diff, the front diff casing is in two parts. You can take the front cover off, pop the two sides out, and you can drop the front uh -huh. diff out. It's got the full chassis rail down the side here, a chassis stiffener. Wow, down the side. look at the... Uh, so the finish on all of that. Like how it's been milled and just like how light yeah, and like all oh, these. 7075. Yeah. Yeah. 7075, so that's, yeah, yeah that's, uh, <laughs> that's the good shit that is. So. Yeah, it's the aircraft grade. Yeah. yeah. Running a 29 G-Force, the same as the previous car. Yep. Okay, milky pipe, Vortex, so made by milky for these cars and obviously these always two strokes the, the pipe is a massive uh oh. well massive for well, the performance well they're, they're actually a silence pipe there's three chambers yeah i noticed that one wasn't really loud like i've no. remember i've had a roven on this channel remember that little shorty yeah. and that shit man I, my ears were well in our, in our rule document and how we race in australia and how they race in europe is 85 decibels uh, okay and it that needs makes to be sense. a silence pipe and yep. the silence actually the gas needs to change direction three times so there's three chambers in there. Oh, well, there you go. So on our document, there's a section drawing of a tune silence pipe. Okay. Um, so, which explains that. Beautiful. So, you get, so, you've got the spline drives. Not much plastic on this apart from these. No, that's it. That's about it. And you'd want that plastic because <laughs> you want a bit of flex. That's right. Aluminium don't really flex really well. Not really, no. no. So, as I mentioned when I was talking about the two-wheel drive, you've got the spline drive here. These are nice and clean and shiny. So one on each corner, so CV joint here, CV joint at the hub, yep. and your spline yeah, you can see that. in there, all right? So they're brilliant. So you, there's no loss of drive, there's no, no you slip, a, no nothing. You get an adjustable sway bar at the rear, not at the front. You can get one for the front, but it, does, it comes comes with the, the gun edition comes with the rear. Okay. The front sway bar is an option. You can always do that later. The gun edition, the sway bar is an option. Is it? It is. You oh, don't, well, get, you both, don't get the sway bar. We both chose it. There you well, go. there you go. There you go. So sway bar is an option, and you just haven't done. You're gonna do the body, the, the mounts here. You're gonna no, do that I'm quick just release. Leave mine the way it is. Yep. Yeah, that's that's, that's personal preference. Yeah, so. that's fine. Because you don't crash, Gavin. So. No. Oh, I'd so say yeah, Gavin. <coughs> I don't need to take my motor out. That's why he's got the gun edition. So. <laughs> so. Uh, it's just ease of cleaning, basically. Yeah. You don't need to from, no, absolutely. from a mechanical point of view. But when you clean your car, you put it on the shelf, and you might you know, might not race it for a month. Wow, well, those are nice. So. Those are some uh, some cat pajamas for Tabo radio. Um, Servos, Servos, definitely. We didn't take the cheap option, did we, Dean? No, we didn't. Cheap, not in this sport, man. <laughs> no, nothing at all. So, yes, yeah, she's a very, very nice. Computer. That's beautiful. That's awesome. That's thank up, you very that's, much. Thank you very much for showing it. Yeah, thanks for raffling it off to the to the RC viewers. That's all right. They'll love it. <laughs> Obviously, shocks fully adjustable. So these are the big, <laughs> the big board shocks. They're massive. So, plenty of adjustment. Plenty of adjustment on your suspension mounting points. The size of that. Your silicon it's oil. got a bleed off point as well. Yeah, yes, just up here, top. I was noticing that. So, a bleed off point. But they're huge, like. Your pistons come blank. Yep. So, the, if you look at them, they look like a 50 cent piece that uh, yeah. off them. But then you can drill your holes to suit your different weights. Oh, the okay. That you makes can sense. Buy, you can buy a blank, a blank piston, and, and yeah, depending on Do your setup, right. depending on the track that you're running, <coughs> and how you prefer the car, you've got all those options to change. Yeah, no, nice. Yeah. Different grade oils. So. Very, very nice. Yeah, well, thank you very much for bringing it and showing the viewers. Look, this channel, I like to do everything, you know. Small, but bigger, crawlers, and then this, you know. I think it's about sharing the love and the passion we have for the hobby, right? Absolutely. That's what it's as about. long as you have a smile on your face of the day and it's, you know, the car's kind of in one piece. That's, that's all that matters. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't take life too serious and these, you know. You're going to get people that complain oh, about everything, mate. Well, we, we oh, yeah. You, you, maybe, gonna, you would hear in some of the videos the where we've had you, you in the background laughing. And, what? you know, that's why everyone's having fun yeah. and a good time. Yeah. That's the main thing. It's the, it's the banter and, and, and the, banter. the camaraderie. Camaraderie, that's yeah, what I was going to say. Like that, we, that's we, the we best. We just had a national event, and, yeah, the racing was a bonus, but 
the social element, catching up with all the guys. Yeah. You know, we all come from all different walks of life. See, here's a difference, right? I used to, I used to race go-karts. Yeah. And people keep secrets to their heart, and it's yeah. so serious, mate. It's like, far out. No. I love it when count. you... No, no. <laughs> We're the most relaxed yeah. of all the scales. Yeah, that's the best. It. Everybody has said it. You help, you you help yeah. out, mate, yeah. It's not, a, it's not an F1 championship, mate. Far out. No. Just, you well, know. you got to have fun. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very, very cool. Well, like I said, thanks very much for showing it to to everyone. Really cool. appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll see some footage on the track. Yes. Well, yeah. we got some footage. We'll throw it in for some better yeah. roll. Oh, I want to see these ones. Oh well, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be down the track. Taking a video. Uh -huh. Won't be long. Won't be nah. Long. It's gonna. Well, it's coming into winter now, so thank Christ, it's not in summer anymore. Mm. You got when did when do you start running uh, in? What was the other track we used to race at? Uh, Large scale off road. SSME. Yeah. We run all year round, eleven months of the year. Well, there you go. But okay. just with the freaky, with you know, coming off yeah. the back of, uh, uh, you know. Well, the last few years have been pretty shit house for yeah. everyone. So. And then the weather has been insane. Yeah, here it's in Sydney we've had. The weather's been pretty bipolar. It's supposed to be dry, but it's been raining for the last three months. That's right. And it's yeah, it's been humid as you, you, you cut your grass this long. Tomorrow it's that long, and it, yeah, it's just been shit out. So hopefully we'll get some more footage running. And but typically we race every month. Okay. So Which, well, I, I try to have more of an effort to to get down to the track and film it. All right. All right. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks you. very much. Appreciate it. I'm still here, guys. So have a good one. Hope you like the intro for this guy. I know you missed him. He'll be on the channel more. All See right. you around. See, See you guys. later. See ya.